Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with the card as part of my Tuesdays with Tupelo feature where I take the products that are received in my Tupelo Designs LLC design team package and show you what I can make with them. So last month I had picked up that deco foil in gold and I hadn't got a chance to use it yet. And then this month I picked up the sticky embossing powder because I thought that the sticky embossing powder from Ranger might be one way that you could use the foiling. And so I'm going to experiment with that today. That chit chat stamp set from Lawn Fawn was something I also received last month. And so I just wanted to uh, make sure that I sometimes show older products that I received from them as well. So what I'm doing is stamping the Versify Versamark ink. And then I'm going to put the Ranger sticky embossing powder over it and see that if this area, which will stay sticky, will hold the foil. So essentially, as embossing powder, instead of giving you a clear surface or a raised surface that dries and is um, no longer sticky, the um, sticky embossing powder does exactly what its name suggests and is going to... Um, leave the area that is embossed sticky but it did not work with the foiling as well as I expected I'm not sure other ways that people use the sticky embossing powder I'm thinking maybe to stick glitter down or flocking and things like that but I did not find that the Ranger sticky embossing powder worked for this technique because I wasn't getting a complete coverage with the sticky there was definitely areas that were working and where the foil did adhere down but not all and even though I went over it with my finger and my bone folder and I really tried to make sure that you know some nice even pressure was applied everywhere this is not the results that I was looking for however I could see that um, if you were going for maybe a distressed look that might work and then there because Versamark is a sticky ink I just wanted to see if pure Versamark would pull off the um, foil at all. So once that didn't work, I decided to try another method because I wanted to show you at least one successful way that you could use foiling without having to purchase an expensive machine. I do have a laminator and so I may use that in a future video, but I know that not everyone is wanting to invest in um, any sort of machine just to get the one effect for crafting although laminators are considerably less expensive than something like the mink machine that's used for foiling. So what I did here was took a piece of two-way sticky tape, laid it over a white piece of cardstock, and then I die cut a word die out of it. And so essentially my die cut is completely sticky all over the front. And that's definitely going to be key. And so basically I'm just looking for an adhesive that holds down the foiling. DecoFoil does sell its own adhesive that can be used similarly, but I didn't know how well it would work with die cuts because you'd have to make sure that glue was on every part of the die cut, but I've heard that it works really well with stamps. However, I just felt like there are probably a lot of people who have two-way tape on hand, and then of course all else you would need is white cardstock and um, a die, which again I think everyone would have on hand. So I just wanted to show you what you might be able to do with what you already have if you've purchased the foil in any of the colors from Tupelo Designs LLC. And then I decided just to do the same thing with the hearts to confirm that it definitely worked and wasn't just sort of a one-off thing. Now, um, my mom gave this a try with a different two-way tape and didn't have as much success. So I'm definitely going to say your mileage may vary, but it's just something, an idea to throw out there to see where you can use the foil with what you already have I used my fingernail to really push the foil down onto the adhesive and I also used a bone folder and I didn't feel like either of those were damaging to the foil in any way. It does not give you that smooth foiled look but instead a textured look because it takes on the texture of the tape which makes sense it would take on the texture of what's underneath it. Now when you pull it off you might get a few areas that aren't quite perfect but in that case all you need to do is put it over a different portion of the foil and rub it again and it's just that that little adhesive area didn't pick up foil the first time 
but it still can pick up foil because that adhesive is strong enough and does work with it. So, you know, if you get little gaps, that's okay, that's fixable, but um, some adhesive is just too strong for the foil. Once I had some foil die cut pieces, I just wanted to put it on a simple card because again, the highlight here was just to show you a way of getting foiling and um, not take too much time with the rest of the card because it let that foiled, those foil die cuts really sort of shine on the card. So I'm just taking that stencil that I picked up from Tupelo Designs, the Hero Arts stencil called Two Way Arrows, and then some cracked pistachio and peacock feathers distressing. I'm going to start with the peacock feathers in the center and then blend out to the cracked pistachio. When I was doing this card, I wanted to just continue to test the foiling and make sure that the, again, you know, wasn't just something that worked once or twice, but consistently worked. And so I did do a second card, all with the same techniques, the same stencils, just a different die from Lawn Fawn. The hearts and the word die are both from Lawn Fawn on both cards. And on the second card, I realized that my gold foil die cut would stand out considerably more with a black background, so I added that black banner on the second card. It just gives it a little bit more pop. That gold is going to pop off of black way more than this pattern, especially as it is blue, although the blue would coordinate well. And so it's unfortunately, if I hadn't adhered it down with this super strong glue, I might have been able to go back and fix it. But I hope this was helpful for those of you who are curious about how foiling works but don't want to invest in anything too expensive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials and for Tuesdays with Tupelo where I'll share you um, projects with their products every week, please subscribe to my channel and I'll leave you links to the Tupelo Designs LLC store. Thanks for watching. Bye.